our story focuses around Auntie Promise and her grandfather, Togbi Adama. So um, Togbi is the formal word in Ewe for king. Um, so one thing we've tried to do throughout this exhibition is make sure that we call people by their proper names. So you won't see us writing chief, you will see only king. Or Togbi or Fia is the informal way of saying um, king. So when you go downstairs, you're going to see Auntie Promise, you're going to see Togbi. And so what we tried to do was kind of um, create a journey that took you from England to Ghana and then, and then further. Yeah, so Togbi, he was the king of the Soma region in Ghana, which is quite close to the Ghana-Togo border. And he lived in a town called Bozeman. In this room you'll also be able to have a, a touch and a feel of some cloth from the Ewa region. So for, for the people from the, whenever people think of Ghana and they think of cloth, they think of kente cloth. But we don't have kente cloth, we have what is called kata, which I understand means open and wrap. And so it, it, it's, a, it's less flamboyant than um, most kente and we did it fast. <laughs> As the story goes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's a, it's a fun debate. It's like the Jollof Wars. We have the Kente Kater Wars. Um, so we've tried to highlight that club. Here you'll be able to sit down. We've, we've um, made some replicas of some of the documents so you can sit down and read letters between Togby, Adama and his family. There's some photographs in there. And also, so this, this is Grandad that we were talking about upstairs who passed away. And so we've got a little image here which was of the last family reunion in 2012. Me, as I'm a first generation uh, British born Ghanaian, and um, when um, my mother um, and my father used to, to speak about um, uh, Togbi Adama, um, they used to tell uh, you know, a number of stories, and for us, they were just stories. Um, however, when we managed to see a lot of these documents um, and pictures and photos, um, we, we began, began to realize um, and sort of understand the importance of, of what a great man um, Togbi Adama was, uh, what a great nation we came, we came from, um, and also what um, you know, great uh, a family that we, we actually you know, descend from and come from. Mum came back from Ghana from a funeral and she brought with her, I think it was two plastic bags <laughs> of stuff. At the time we were talking about two plastic bags of stuff. Didn't quite know what it was. I'm sure Promise knew exactly the importance of this. Um, but for myself, out come these two plastic bags. And when we started to look inside the bags, these were very, very delicate documents. They were breaking up. Um, you could see, actually, that what we had here was of significance, but we really had no idea what it was. Some of them were stuck together. Some of them falling apart. We found out afterwards, after we did a paper conservation project on this, that we had a whole range of things happening here. There was mold. There was rust. It had been scorched in places, microorganisms, because we're coming from a climate, a tropical climate. In essentially, this heritage asset that we were talking about um, was not in the right conditions given the quality of material that we had. So we started to look to see what we had here. Up until this point, by the way, grandfather wasn't too articulate at all with me. He was looking and talking one or two syllables. Every now and again, I got a glance. You know those grandfathers. Who in the world is this man? But when the document started to kind of come out and we started to look at the photographs and whatever, you could see that he became a lot more engaged and a lot more involved, a lot more articulate. And we started to hear him speak about um, what we had here. As time went by, we ended up in a workshop at the previous pre um, premises to where we are now, in Kennington. And do you remember that workshop? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. And the family members came, 
um, and we started to look at it. And at that time, we had a historian with us. We also had somebody from the Victoria and Albert Museum, paper conservation expert. And we started this initial appraisal of the, of the, of the documents. And what did that historian say? He said, there is nothing like this in this country. It is absolutely unique. He spoke about it as a heritage asset. And we have to do something with this. Tell us, what does this mean to you? <laughs> well, it means a lot, actually. Uh, it was just something I brought from Ghana, you know, in two plastic bags, in a suitcase. And I didn't know that it was very important, very, very important documents until you came and uh, told us the way we were handling, you know, the, 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 the papers, the documents, and we were shocked. So we said, no, 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 you know, we shouldn't hold them like that. We should just leave it, which we did. And uh, this is what came out of that. And we are so, so, so grateful. Very grateful indeed.